Hey, what's going on, guys? What's it? What, what's it been like? <laughs> like a like a day or two, right? Like, <coughs> uh, man, four, four days. We're well, going on five. Man, what what happened? <laughs> All right. Jokes aside, um, I feel like I kind of owe an explanation as to where I've been at. Uh, for those who don't know already, uh, these for these past couple of days since I've been MIA for the most part. Um, every year, me and my family go on this little trip where we go like seven hours away upstate, and uh, we go to this festival, and that's where I was. It was only supposed to be for two days, but due to unforeseen circumstances, was stretched out to around four days. Uh, and I couldn't upload at all while I was up there because, you know, I figured I'd be back in time to keep the schedule going, maybe take a day off, but nope, um, it was way longer than it should have been. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm back now. Um, but I also just felt like this is a good time to kind of, you know, just, just chat, catch up a little bit. It's been a while since I've sat here and just talked to you guys about what, what's going on with me and about what's going on with the channel. So I figured, uh, you know, now's a good time. Um, got a few things I want to talk about, but first things first, I am sorry for not uploading these past couple of days. Um, that's on me, my bad, but, uh, yeah, I've been just real busy recently, man. I got a lot going on right now. Uh, a lot of things to consider. I got, uh, what's going on right now? I got my insurance. I have to, I've been doing a lot of stuff with my insurance. It's been quite the stressful <laughs> <laughs> process but is that uh, i'm getting my driver's license right now i'm going through a bunch of different processes <laughs> but yeah another thing i wanted to talk about was just kind of where i think the channel is at right now and kind of what's going on in general and like you know what i see for the future and what my next steps are what the next plans are going to be uh because youtube is rolling out some updates that are going to kind of kind of screw your boy over but it's all right i got i got ideas my little brain my little noodle is cooking up some major plans right now a lot of you you guys probably don't know this but a lot of the views for my videos comes from shorts uh the youtube short system is i would have used to grow this channel a good bit um it's a great way to get views and get traction and you know when i put the the video link in the description of the short people click on it people check it out see if they like it and it brings in more subscribers makes people see the content and you know, it, it was just a good way to get out there and <laughs> don't know why they're doing this but i guess youtube is making it so i can't put links in shorts anymore so that's going to be a major blow to viewership for me but i gotta work i got workarounds in my brain that'll hopefully work the same but that's gonna kind of suck they're gonna be rolling it out at the end of this month i think but I don't know that that's just gonna suck. I'm not overly worried about it. It's just gonna suck for a while. Um, I, I just also want to apologize real quick. I know all last like when you guys were in school, I was talking up this summer. I was like, man, I'm gonna upload every day. I'm gonna, this summer's gonna be crazy. I'm telling you, I'm gonna do so much this summer, and I I really didn't do anything this summer. <laughs> I saw me. Um, I, I don't know, man. I just this summer I've been feeling like the burnout more than ever, and like I know you guys are probably sick inside of me talking about this, but it, it, I'll, I'll explain why I bring it up so much. But I don't know. This past few months I've been unbelievably, ungodly, unholy burnt out. I I am just like man, you know, like <laughs> it got to the honestly if i'm gonna be real with you guys at this point i am not enjoying doing youtube as much as i should be and that sounds worse than it is uh you know i still enjoy communicating with you guys and interacting with you guys that'll always be my favorite thing about youtube and having a community and everything it's great it's awesome it's what i've always dreamed of but the work process behind it is just killing me right now, man. And it's not healthy for me to keep pushing myself to do something I don't want to do. At the, That sounds worse than it does. That's why I don't like saying I don't want to make videos. But, you know, I want to want to make videos, if that makes sense. It's just the work process is so long and tedious. And I've done it so many times nonstop for so long 
that you know it's just tiring you know i'm feeling a little burnt out and then you know i always bring that up and i'm like i'm gonna take a break at some point and then i'll take like a like a two-day break and that's like putting a band-aid on a gunshot wound you know a two-day break isn't gonna do anything and the worst part is when i go on breaks i spend most of my break thinking about how long of a break i have like I'll count down my break days. Like if I take a two day break, I'm like, man, you got one day left to just relax. Man, you got you got two days to just relax. You better start relaxing right now. And it's just very like, you know, it's stressful. And then you know I gotta sit there and I gotta make a video. And I started realizing it, especially this month, or this like past month or two. Like I'll sit down and usually when I edit a video, I'll sit there and I'll just power through it, dead focused. You know angry eyes everything just sitting there non-stop for hours working on one video i'll get it done in one night i'll start at 12 o'clock and i'll get done at seven and I'll go, I'll go to bed but recently i just find myself procrastinating more trying to find reasons to skip out on the work uh, trying to find shortcuts and I, you know i say i said it before i'm pretty sure but it's not healthy for me and it's definitely not healthy for the channel because i mean you can tell that i'm trying to take shortcuts now I, I at first it was subconscious i was taking shortcuts just like you know unwillingly almost like my brain was just letting me find ways out of work and now i realize like you know how much i cut out of the editing process just to save time for myself and to get done with editing faster like i mean go back a few months and look at my videos full of pngs big long lengthful edits full subtitles on some of my videos um you know everything and now all i have really have is this png character which i mean let's be honest is pretty pretty sick i mean this character is pretty cool but you know compared to what i used to do i'm not really editing my videos anymore and that's kind of helped with the burnout but at the cost of video quality and enjoyment in my opinion i mean i could be completely wrong maybe my videos are better than they've ever been right now. <laughs> i mean i have no idea on gate or no way of gauging your guys's enjoyment because if i go on a community post i'm like are you guys enjoying the videos let's be honest even if you guys aren't you're probably gonna say yeah just to spare my feelings so but you know i'm really burnt out and this little like four day five day break i took really really made me realize just how stressed i am and burnt out because i was legit on the verge of having panic attacks while i was on vacation because i was like oh my god i can't i didn't upload oh my god i didn't upload for three days oh my god i can't breathe you know, i was borderline passing out while i was up there man and that's not healthy like i realize i i'm you know mature and wise enough to realize that's not healthy and that's not a healthy mindset to have towards youtube and i the reason why i don't take break breaks like you know you're like man just take like a month off you know most youtubers do or take like a week off two weeks off just go and take a break man go sleep in go do whatever you want and the reason why i don't do that is because even if i take a two-day break i will lose on average like 50 subscribers uh the viewership will drop down thousands of views it it is crazy how much i lose when i take a break they in you know some of the bigger channels they can they can manage that that's fine you know uh, you know they got millions upon millions of subscribers they can stop uploading for like a, like a month and then come back and still have millions of people to watch them i can't do that i'm not a big enough channel to do something like that and i would suffer greatly from trying so you you know thought process the, the you know the next step would be why don't you just prepare a bunch of videos to go out while you're on break well not only is in that a, in, in my personal experience borderline impossible <laughs> to get that many videos done it's to take like a week break i would need like five videos and each one of those videos would take like seven hours a pop to make so you you do the math that would take like three days of non-stop work to to have just a week off yeah, think about that three 24 hour periods 
just to take a week off. That's the position I'm in right now. And that's why I kind of feel like I got a chain and ball tied to my ankle. And I, I can't really take breaks. And there is ways around it that when I think about it, like, I feel like it could kind of help me a little bit. Make YouTube a little bit more fun again for me. Because, you know, I mean, I enjoy playing games. Don't don't take that the wrong way when I say make it enjoyable again. I enjoy playing games. It's, I, you know, I used to hate horror games, but I kind of found like a passion for them at this point. Um, you know, and I love interacting with you guys. I love streaming. But as you guys, if you guys have tuned into the streams recently, I barely can do that anymore because the lag is just horrible. And I have no idea why that happened either. It just started happening out of nowhere. I mean, sure, we had our lag spikes in the past, but for the most part, the, the streams were good. <laughs> but now they're just, they're horrible. I, I can't go two minutes without having a lag spike so bad that YouTube thinks the stream ended. They, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, to make YouTube enjoyable again, what I mean by that is to make like the editing process enjoyable again, because I used to love editing videos, you know, being creative, having that ability to do literally whatever I wanted. But when you're forced to do whatever you want, it kind of takes the joy away from me, if you get what I'm saying. Like you, you probably like say you like drawing and you like painting and you like doing art. All right. Now, if someone, if you had a schedule where you had to do art every day or every other day and you couldn't miss a day or else people would stop liking your art, it would probably suck a little of the enjoyment out of making that art. Sure. Do you, do you hate art? No, you love art and you love painting. But when you are, you know, you kind of have that force making you do art. It kind of sucks away some of the enjoyment, if that makes sense. And that's the position I'm in, you know. I, I can't sleep in. I can't do anything every day, all day. All I'm thinking about is, man, you got to make that video. You got to go make that video, man. People are waiting on you. You got to go You gotta go do this, man. You can't play Overwatch. You got to go make a video. And, you know, it, it's stressful. You know, I'll be sitting there. I'm trying to play, like, Destiny 2 with my friend. And, uh, you know, the whole time, whole time we're playing whole time we're doing our our pinnacles our challenges grinding out the game in the back of my head is man you got like two hours to play this game and then you gotta go make a video and then you know i feel bad because i'm ditching all my friends i'm like yo i gotta i gotta go do something man i can't i can't hang around sorry guys i know we're all playing the game that i love and i would love to play with you guys but i got a video that's got to be out tomorrow and if i want to sleep tonight i gotta get started on that now and it's stressful man it really is and there's videos that I like I kind of crave to make like videos like this where I sit down and I just turn off the the, the funny switch in my head and I can just kind of be me for a second and just talk to my microphone. I love these kinds of videos. I love being able to just and it's like I'm talking to you guys, you know, it's like I'm, I genuinely feel like I'm talking to each one of you guys individually when I make these videos and I'm just expressing myself and talking. I love stuff like this. You know, and I want to make more videos, but, you know, like when I make the tier list videos or, you know, stuff like this, it's just like, you know, like people don't really watch it. Some of you guys do, but some of you guys watch anything I put out. I could put out a video of me, uh, I don't know, just staring at the camera for 12 hours and like a, a couple hundred of you guys or yeah, a couple hundred of you guys would just sit there and watch it regardless of what I put out. And that's still crazy to me and I'm thankful to you guys. But, you know, some of the people who only watch what they want to watch on the channel, they might not, you know, watch a tier list video. But some of you guys do. And some of you guys actually really enjoy the tier list videos. But, you know, like I said, I'm kind of in that mental space where I'm like, ah, if you upload more tier list videos, not a lot of people are going to watch them. And then your viewership is going to fall off and, you know, stuff like that. And I acknowledge it's not a healthy mindset, but, you know, it's something I can't just get rid of at this point. And it's going to take time to kind of break myself out of that mindset. But I digress. I'm getting off track. There's videos that I've been craving to make, man. Like, I want to make um that Five Nights at Freddy's uh, Roblox game. We did the first three nights and we wanted to knock out the last two. And that video was crazy. Did really good. Amazing video. Everybody loved it. I People referenced that video in my community. 
Like that video was crazy, man. I loved making that video too. The edits were so fun to make. Playing it was so unbelievably fun. It was so funny. I was talking to my friends about it the whole time. I actually wanted to edit that video. Like I, I would be playing games and I'm like, man, I, I want to work on that video. It wasn't no, I have to work on that video. It was, man, I want to, I want to, I got some ideas, man. I want to, <laughs> I want to go work on this. I love making videos like that with my friends or on games that I'm. Like I really enjoy and that I'm really into like I would love to make overwatch videos But if I made an overwatch video, I know At least 70% of my viewers will not watch that video Because that's not what they came here for my channel is a horror game channel and I kind of dug that grave for myself But I, like I'm not playing horror games in my spare time <laughs> it's, it's just not something I'm doing unless I'm playing it with my friends and that's why you know, when I made the Mimic video, both Mimic videos, and when I made the Five Nights at Freddy's Roblox game video, those were with friends, and those were the videos I enjoyed making the most. Because those, I would have I would have done that off camera too, of playing those games with my friends. Like, I, I enjoyed doing stuff like that. And I would love to make more videos like that, but, man, I'm going to be honest, if you, I, I thought making, if you think me making these normal videos it takes a long time, you have no idea what, what it comes down to when I'm making those other videos. I think the last Mimic video took me like 10, 11 hours straight of non-stop work, no breaks, to get done. The first Mimic video took me like two days because I had a lot of technical issues. The Five Nights at Freddy's video took me like the same time as the second, like eight, nine, ten hours. And those videos take a long time. So if I were to really focus on making videos that I enjoy, the upload you know, schedule would kind of decrease. It wouldn't be as frequent uploads. If I had to guess, I'd give you a rough guesstimate on how many videos a week it would be if I did that. I would say at a maximum, three videos a day, probably. Uh, not now whoa 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 brain fart not three videos a day oh my god no uh, three videos a, or four videos a week if i had four at the maximum i could see but three being the minimum or the average but then there's a whole like i figured if i'm really uploading content i enjoy content i enjoy and content that i'm really putting my heart and soul into that i enjoyed making the viewer experience will be elevated and you guys will enjoy the videos more even if they're less frequent and you know in return you know more people will come and the videos will just get more traction because they're actually you know heartfelt videos because i mean let's be honest some of these games that i'm playing you know they're not good <laughs> it's, it's, it's that simple you know some of these horror games that i'm playing i have to i'm playing because i have to because there's simply no other horror game that I realistically can play and get a video out on. If, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I can't, like, you know. Yeah, I'm in a rough spot right now. There's a drought in horror games. There's really no horror games being released. Back a couple months ago, there was a new indie horror game every day. I had, there was no worry in my head about having to find a game. I would just pull up Itch.io, look at what's popular, pick one that looked cool, play it. Now I have to scroll, scroll, go into the new, uh, the pop, it's a whole process now. There's no, like, surefire good ones out anymore. I mean, there's been a, a few, you know, gems out there that we have found, obviously, but I don't know. I need your guys' input on this. I really do. What do you guys think I should do? Do you get, like, I need you, like, I'm, <laughs> it sucks because I could sit here and make all these ideas for myself, but at the end of the day, I'm doing this for you guys. So without your guys' input, it's kind of like, you know, maybe everything I'm saying is the polar opposite of what you guys want. You know, I don't I, like I don't know what you guys want. And that's why I really rely on your guys' feedback. And it would mean a lot to me, even if you even if you watched every one of my videos, but you've never commented on a single one. But just because you like to watch the comment, you don't you, you watch the community from afar, but you're not really very active in like talking. It would mean a lot to me if you went down to the comments and let me know what you would like to see. Would you like to see more of me playing with my friends? Would you like to see more indie horror games and more of what I've been doing? Would you like to see some Overwatch con like content, some some 
you know, who knows? Even IRL content, like, you know, more talking videos, more tearless videos, more story times. Like, you know, I need, I want to know what you guys want, cause that's what I want to give you guys. I want to give you what you want to see from me. You know, there's a bajillion ideas that I have in my head of stuff I want to do, but it all comes back on what you guys want. But borderline, what I'm trying to say is I'm extremely just, you know, the editing process and, you know, everything that I'm tired, man. I've been doing this for almost like a year and some change now. And when you do this every other day for a year, I, I mean, it was I, I, I got burnt out before, but I always bounce back and you know, I got back to work. But I, you know, I don't think I could bounce back from this one. This one chopped my legs off. There is no bouncing anymore. And, you know, I'm kind of at a stalemate of what to do. You know, I could just, I could go and just vanish for two weeks and then come back. And then, you know, only get 50 views a video. And have to work my way back up. Or I could borderline kill myself working my butt off to get videos set up so I can take a break. Or I can just focus on doing videos that I enjoy doing that would take a little bit longer to get out. But would be more enjoyable in the long run. You know, there's a lot of options, and I'm sure you guys could tell at this point why I'm so stressed out and burnt out and everything. But, you know, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. You know, I think it's healthy that I make these videos where I just kind of sit down, give you guys a, a peek inside of the the brains of me. You know, get you guys a view into my psyche and let you guys know what I'm thinking about. And I think that these type of videos are really good for you guys to understand me and for me to kind of understand you guys, you know? and to build that connection but you know thank if you guys watch to the end of this video thank you i was not expecting to be recording this long this was supposed to be a 10 minute video but i got sidetracked uh, i got lost in the in the thought process but if you made it to the end of the video job uh, you don't have to comment anything um but just know you're a goat <laughs> but yeah just let me know please it would mean a lot to me if you guys went in the comments and let me know what you guys think and what you guys would want to see um, and if you guys would be okay with a few, little bit of a, you know, a slack in the upload schedule, but an increase in video quality. And, you know, I've said this stuff before and then, you know, I, I try it, like I'll try to upload, um, you know, less frequent, but more quality videos. And then the viewership will take a dip and I'll be like, you know, I'll be scared. It's like touching a hot iron. You're like, I don't want to do that again. You know, that burn, you know, that hurt. I don't, <laughs> don't want to do that again. But, you know. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I usually am really bad at explaining stuff like this, but hopefully I did a good job this time. But I'm going to start wrapping things up here. I'm going to let you guys go. Stop holding you guys captive. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really hope, like I said, I explained that well. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be reading your guys' comments. So please, please, I'm on my knees with some bees. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> let me stop. All right, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.